KSI is still talking about Dan's tweet weeks after he had made it. Dan hasn't posted anything on Twitter since then and has only continued to keep making content on his own separate YouTube channels and is just completely ignoring KSI the entire time. But KSI is crying and sucking all that copium and all that bullshit. He's just crying about it constantly over and over and over and over and over again and it's honestly really embarrassing he, you people have documented all the tweets that ksi has made and compared it to dan's singular tweet the one singular tweet that he made and that's it it's laughable how many tweets he has made about dan tdm he has posted an apology which was actually just a marketing ploy to promote his new song which if you go onto his main channel and go look at the song it's massively disliked people are not liking the song whatsoever his reddit is filled with people making memes and joking about how bad the song is and then even after that he decided to go ahead and make another apology video where he went onto his clips channel and he was trying to apologize to dan but he wasn't actually trying to apologize to dan he instead just decided that what he wanted to do was just laugh and say like oh dan tdm fans can suck it this is that and the other and yada 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 and they're the ones who are coping and you know just the same spiel that he's been doing for the past couple of weeks and it got so bad to the point where he continued to still continue to keep talking about it that after he posted his music video for his new song even jake paul had to react to this and say that his grandpa who's 83 years old who hasn't been able to walk stood up and turned that shit off then i couldn't really find like the clips of it myself so i had to go and borrow some clips of it from pegasus channel so um give a shout out to pegasus for getting the clips together then ksi talked about it with uh some other members of the of the, of the side cast, uh, Simon or Mini Mincer, Rhoda Shaw, and then Josh Zerka. They talked about it and they pretty much just kind of shat on JJ the entire time. They just shat on KSI the whole time saying like they have nothing to do with it. He's blown it completely out of proportions and yada, yada, yada. Even they understand that KSI is just blowing his way out of proportions and he just kind of needs to go ahead and hurry up and just shut the fuck up, right? Because that's there's no reason why he should be talking about this anymore. He wants to invite him onto the side cast and, and talk about like the entire situation between the two of them on there. And I I don't think that Dan, Dan TDM is going to want to do that. I think he's just going to completely ignore the, the situation entirely because what is there really to say? Like, what, what does he need to say to KSI other than what he had already posted on his main Twitter account. He already criticized Lunchly. He doesn't agree with it. He doesn't agree that Logan, Mr. Beast, and KSI should be making this and releasing this for people, for kids to eat. And that's it. And if you want any more information about as to why Lunchly is not that much more healthier of an alternative in comparison to Lunchables, well, here's Dr. Mike, who's an actual licensed doctor in the United States. And he says that whilst it is healthier than Lunchables, it's not that much of a healthier alternative. And it's not really a step in the right direction for kids to go from switching from eating Lunchables to eating your healthier alternative and healthy, eating healthier food. So if you want an actual doctor's opinion on Lunchly, go watch Dr. Mike's video because it's really well put together. He mentioned a lot of stuff that I didn't even think to mention. He just makes a lot of really good points. Go watch it. It's a great video. Yeah, I think KSI is just really in a laughable state right now where everyone's just constantly making fun of him for being a whiny little fucking crybaby. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Really didn't expect to talk about this again because what is there really, uh, what, what else is there really to say other than he's just being a massive fucking baby he's like 31 years old so Ankh is just crying about absolutely fucking nothing and it's hilarious it's sad but it's hilarious yeah that's pretty much all there is really to say about the situation it's dumb it's hilarious it's sad and that's all there is to it hopefully he kind of realizes what the fuck he's doing and what he needs to do in order to get us to stop or else everyone's just going to continuously keep making fun of him so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I want to give a channel shout out to Pedro360 for being the only member on the channel. Please consider joining channel memberships. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.